Hello everybody, I am Professor Dr. Kamal Bhattacharya. Today I will talk about one of the most prominent figures of 20th century in the field of science who not only created one of the catastrophic uh, weapons of human civilization but as well he worked as the modern Prometheus for the mankind thereby I am going to discuss about Julius Robert Oppenheimer and his journey as a top of the Manhattan project and subsequent political uh, affairs and activities uh, how he was uh, insulted and uh, how there was uh, balance of power exchanged between the two mightiest countries America and Russia I will discuss these things with a uh, lucid uh, language and non-technical language because physics is not my subject neither chemistry but uh, the love for science the love for such uh, topics uh, actually prompted me to make this video lecture while I was preparing this video lecture I was thinking myself that if I am eligible or I am fit or I am worth to make this video or not however if you like it uh, my toiling my 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 venture my uh, efforts will be uh, properly justified and redeemed Julius Robert Oppenheimer he is called the modern Prometheus and also sarcastically he is called the master of death Prometheus was the biblical character you will find it Bible who brought the knowledge fire fire of knowledge and served to the human being as we know the story that how he uh, tempted Adam to eat the apple and it all changed the scenario God was uh, humiliated Zeus was humiliated Zeus was the head of the gods so Jesus was angry and he punished Prometheus his name is Lucifer or in general sense we call him Satan and condemned him to hell and chained him with a mountain so in the same way when Oppenheimer successfully 
completed his project tested the first atom bomb the plutonium bomb american politicians american politics needed to prune him shed him from the project how it all happened and why it all happened and what was the uh, dogmatic conditions of europe and america uh, politicians i will discuss in my lecture it will not be a technical it will be simple and since i am a lover of knowledge i am an epistemophile uh, so like me who also likes to have knowledge i hope uh, my video lecture will uh, provide them some uh, knowledge and i can assure you the knowledge the information that i'm sharing with you here uh, they are all authentic okay so let us begin julius robert oppenheimer the modern prometheus 21st of uh, july the indian uh, movie theaters or cinema halls uh, were uh, filled with crowd to watch a movie which is called oppenheimer directed by none other than christopher nolan Christopher Nolan is one of the greatest uh, cinema director in Hollywood. Movie today is not limited to entertainment. It is beyond entertainment and it provides us abundant information abundant uh, you know dreams to pursue and past few years i have seen movie especially the hollywood movies i am talking about hollywood movies uh, they have pushed their walls uh, much beyond the limits we have seen movies like jurassic park we have seen movies like uh, captain america now movies are coming with Uh, multiverse so these are not movies these are not uh, mere movies they are uh, their dreams to chase when i was 9 uh, or 10 years old i saw the movie frankenstein with my father Frankenstein is one of the uh, finest novels of uh, Mary Shelley. Mary Shelley is the wife of Percy Bysshe Shelley. So when I saw that, I I understood that science can reach beyond our thoughts. How a dead body can again uh, be alive and i also learned that if a medical science physics chemistry 
these knowledges are manipulated are wrongly used then it can be catastrophic it can have a catastrophic result that we have already seen 6th of august and on 9th of august 1945 so when merit talents and aesthetic join together then an oppenheimer then a jurassic park is created so what i was telling is that in this video lecture i am not going to discuss about any technical technicality but would like to provide the listener the the audience that how a man can be uh, treated how a man uh, can create history yet he can be uh, uh, behaved uh, not properly with uh, by the uh, politicians by the by the state by the nation and on the other hand how an insignificant personality can create greater job than creating the history like nuclear bomb that i will tell in the end of my lecture so since i have got no knowledge about quantum quantum physics quantum mechanics i have no knowledge about uh, uh, fission fusion i will simply skip my lecture on the uh, theoretical and also as a mode of storytelling because i am an epistemophile so i hope you will like it the modern prometheus as he was called julius robert oppenheimer uh, was given the task of making an atom bomb and the project was named the manhattan project oppenheimer's raw passion for physics his insights for quantum physics quantum mechanics was all instrumental to lead the manhattan project because there was uh, he was second to none and there was no such merit that could replace him and america needed uh, badly uh, a brain like him so he was given Uh, the top position to lead the project manhattan project so he started his work in 1942 and after working for for around 3 years his team reached the pinnacle of nuclear fission of chain reaction chain reaction means in layman uh turn inside uh, an atom you know electron proton neutron is there so neutron when it is uh, charged it creates energy and the energy goes to the next new neutron and it goes like a chain it makes a chain and it creates a havoc uh energy power in mexico uh, around uh, 250 miles 
away south of Los Alamos, the name of the place, Los um, Alamos in Mexico. The first uh, plutonium implosion, not explosion, remember, implosion was successfully tested. The name of the project was given by Oppenheimer himself, the Trinity. Though uh, we come to know from books that uh, Trinity uh, was given uh, inspiration of the poem of John Donne, okay, one of the poems of John Donne named Trinity. But I have an inhibition that uh, since Oppenheimer was master uh, of six or seven languages including Sanskrit and he was well read uh, and read uh, Bhagavad Gita and he could recite uh, Bhagavad Gita Bharvatim. So this trinity, trinity in, in uh, Hindu mythology, uh, it is the three gods, the supreme gods, supreme lords, okay, the Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesh. So I, I think that it might be inspired uh, by, by this. Uh, thoughts because the power of these three is uh, you know the supreme power however that is a secondary issue Oppenheimer reigned in the world of science especially in the quantum physics and quantum mechanics from 1930 to 1950 and by the time he was the icon of science he was the rare of the rarest brains uh, ever found in human history. Now let us understand quickly the background history of uh, the time 1930, mid 1930 to 1945. Europe is gaining momentum towards the Second World War. Because Germany was continuously threatening to attack on Poland. Hitler's Nazi uh, uh, were very powerful and strong. By the time Europe had a uh, competition of gaining knowledge over science and technology, Russia successfully uh, uh, tested uh, many rockets and all these things that was not uh, happily accepted by America. So America uh, tried to achieve something different quickly, quicker way than Russia and that was a weapon, a bomb that can be destructive and one blow can, uh, can bring a result of any, uh, any warfare. Science changed, science transformed and science advanced. Albert Einstein and his works in the field of quantum physics, theory of relativity, theory of uh, photoelectricity, with the path of scientific conflict among academicians and the politicians. In the meantime, 
a galaxy of scientists of equal merit worked on different gamu of science namely jj thomson max planck e rutherford max bloch law otto hahn james frank neil bohr james chadwick harold ure leo wizard wolfgang ernest pauli enrico fermi warner hesenbaum Eugen Paul, E. P. Wagner, Paul Dira, Hans Bethe, and Julius Robert Oppenheimer. It all began from the thoughts of relativity, theory of relativity. Scientists started considering the molecular mechanism of the world coming out a bigger aspect of the scientific phenomena. it means that instead of making very big weapons artillery let us make something more powerful more devastating uh, the power which is hidden in the molecular level atomic level and, and sub atomic level the quantum physics surpassed the concept of ethereal existence and took us to the galactic range means quantum physics the quantum entanglement the power the the characters of the molecules the electron proton neutron the power inside them tapped inside them if if can be explored maybe maybe something or uh, may bring a something new kind of uh, energy power okay so these war monger people these pugnacious uh, people especially in america they desperately uh, wanted to grab some power okay so the whole universe became the center of thoughts atomic subatomic molecular range of existence became the center of attraction after quantum physics appeared in science they wanted to tap the power inside the molecule the scientists and the politicians understood the power of subatomic nuclear fission they realized if they can prepare a bomb that can create a chain reaction of neutron fragmented experiments were conducted in different universities in uh, princeton university in usa uh, in um, uh, university of gottingen in germany uh, Cambridge University in England they all were and in Russia also they all were trying to tap the power of the uh, inside the uh, nucleic family 1939 hitler attack poland the second world war started towards the end of 1942-1943 germany gradually became weak but his other ally italy and japan especially japan was not ready to surrender united states of america He requested Japan to surrender to stop war, but Japan was adamant. In the Southeast Asia, Japan was, except uh, India, because India was friend to Japan, and Netaji had already gone there. To so uh, Japan was not ready to show any uh, kind of. Uh, leniency j 
Japan attacked Pearl Harbor, the air base of America, and this irked, this enraged America. America was seething with anger. 1942, 15th of uh, October, General Leslie R. Groves asked J. R. Oppenheimer to head the project, Manhattan project. 1942, 19th of October, uh, whenever Bush who was the defense secretary of the time approves the um, uh, the heading of Oppenheimer and Oppenheimer was given uh, the president level uh, access to any information of any classified uh, information of USA. Though he was given the top position of the Manhattan Project. American politicians were fully aware of that Oppenheimer was inclined to communism. Remember this. This become, becomes very, very, uh, very, very sensitive issue in the in the end of his career. A major number of scientists by the time was either directly or indirectly inclined to the communist uh, communism thoughts uh, under the books of Glass Capital written by Karl Marx because capitalist. Uh, in America and Europe and the communism and uh, the dialectic materialism in uh, Russia. Okay, these two distinct uh, philosophy of uh, politics uh, were, uh, were going side by side. Yet, you have uh, U.S. government had no option but to appoint me, appoint uh, uh, Oppenheimer as the head of uh, the Manhattan Project because there was no one like him. The mushroom cloud came into being on 16th of July 1945. Means the first atom bomb was successfully tested the nuclear plutonium implosion. Since Germany had already surrendered by the time, USA need some bodies, some something, some state to show his power and to, 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 to experiment, practically experiment the power of this nuclear bomb. So within a few days, successfully tested 16th of July and it was dropped on Japan 6th of August and 9th of August on Hiroshima and Nagasaki successively. The first bomb was named Little Boy and the second bomb was named Fat Man. The history, the background changed after the death of Hitler. He uh, committed suicide. Germany was divided into two states, two nations, East Germany and West Germany. Europe was also divided into two blocks, Eastern Bloc and Western Bloc. America and Stalin 
that is the Russian president. They were <coughs> the two snarling bulls. They were uh, preparing to lock their horns. Since America had already obtained the power, they needed to prune, shed Oppenheimer. And here came the thread of inclination to communism. His Oppenheimer's uh, security clearance was revoked by US government. What is security council? Uh, security clearance? It is the capacity to obtain any classified information by an individual which is a very prestigious uh, ordinance. But it was closed. Since uh, Oppenheimer's personality was so towering that America had a, had a problem to deal with this one. However, uh, America started torturing the uh, communist uh, mentality people and they showed their uh, disgust against Russia. All these things they wanted because to show their muscle power because they had already obtained the ultimate uh, boom which is even uh, uh, <coughs> Russia had not. When the first atom bomb was tested, blown, Oppenheimer who could speak six to seven languages, even Sanskrit, quoted from uh, Bhagavad Gita, chapter 11, verse 32. Kal Vashmi Lokakshkhaya Prith Prabhat Dido means I am mighty time, the source of destruction that comes forth to annihilate the world. As told in uh, Bhagavad Gita by Krishna, so, Oppenheimer considered himself as the master of death because he created this atom bomb. However, Japan surrendered uh, And uh, the president Hirohito, uh, he uh, declared that he would uh, surrender to America. But a thing that changed the world, entire world, and it was more important, more with more caliber than a Manhattan project. What happened? One fine morning, a letter from the Prime Minister of Canada uh, Mackenzie King was the Prime Minister of Canada. A letter came from his office to the head of the Defence Secretary that the formula of the nuclear bomb was leaked and handed over to Russia. Who did it? 
nobody knew nobody knew the person but the intelligence source could collect information that somebody whose name is dexter some mr dexter whose name was uh, whose mother tongue was not english so that becomes a very sensitive issue if a man whose mother tongue by the time mother tongue uh, was not english that means either he has to be a russian or a german because they were enemy german uh, scientists were also working in manhattan project so it was one of the scientists who unbelievably collected all the information of the nuclear bomb the formula i am talking about formula and converted into into mere eight pages and made a thin film and handed over to russia without a penny because he thought because it is required for the safety of the human kind human being human history human civilization if he does not do it he will not be able to excuse or pardon himself the balance of power was required and it was none other than emil klaus julius fuchs a german scientist who was later caught and imprisoned in uh, britain but when he went to germany he was again uh, was working as uh, a theoretical uh, physicist in my next video i will uh, try to uh, bring out this uh, very uh, interesting history the history of the greatest treachery in the world and uh, tell as a story in my video i hope if you like it uh, i will deem my my toils as good thank you